What's up, Joe? Your name might not be Joe, but who cares? Whatever your name is, welcome to my video vlog of today. I want you guys to do whatever it is that inspires you, Beachbody or otherwise. I'm going to tell you the story, the history of Beachbody, and how it sort of parallels what I believe. And if it parallels what you believe and inspires you, then do this with us. It's awesome. Did I mention that I went from broke to financially free in just two and a half years? And the only reason I did that is because I got healthy and I helped a bunch of other people get healthy, so I was rewarded. Not a bad deal. So Beachbody started in 1998 by Carl Deichler and John Congdon. Thank you, guys. So right from the very beginning, they started out as a TV infomercial company, and they had some products, some home fitness products, some nutritionals, but that's all they were at that time. And as time went on, they grew their product line, they expanded, and they got better at it and things like that, as, as expected. But right from the very beginning, their users were getting amazing results that they would send back into Beachbody, and they'd have these amazing before and after pictures and the contrast and all that sort of cool stuff. So that was, that was always something that Beachbody was always extremely good at, is helping people achieve their goals and living happy, healthy, fulfilling lives. In fact, that's their mission statement. The Beachbody mission statement, that's their backstop when they have to make a decision about something. They had, their backstop is what is going to achieve the objective at helping people achieve their goals at living happy, healthy, fulfilling lives. Pretty cool thing. It's in line with what I believe. Is it in line with what you believe? It's probably a yes. I don't think anybody would say no to that. So I'm glad we're on the same page. So as time went on, it was, uh, you know, Beachbody did not start out as a, um, a network marketing company. They just had a product first. And um, every other network marketing company out there, not to knock them to say it's good or bad, but it's always um, the business first, got a great way to help people make money. Now we just need a product. And Beachbody is the only one that really had the product first. And then they decided, what was it, like eight years later or something like that, hey, let's expand and do it the network marketing way. <laughs> Pretty cool. So the structure was already there, the foundation, very solid company and all that stuff. I mean, this year they're spending, I think, like $200 million plus on infomercial advertisement, $200 million, and none of it's borrowed. It's already paid for. In fact, uh, they don't borrow any money whatsoever. This is a self-sustaining company with a lot of years of enormous success and um, stability. So this is, you know, this is as secure as it gets, boys and girls. It really is. So anyway, it was December of 2006, they open up the network marketing division. Now at that point, um, Carl Deichler and John Congdon, they came to a crossroad. You know, they wanted to expand more and reach more people and help more people get healthy. That's a good thing. So they went, they had to decide how they were going to expand. Are they going to go to the retail shelves like Walmart and put our stuff on the shelves at Walmart? Or are we going to open up a network marketing division and um, let our customers who are already getting the results sort of uh, do that for us? And um, again, the decision went back to their backstop, their mission statement. What's going to help people? What's more effectively going to help people achieve their goals and living healthy, happy, fulfilling lives? It was a no-brainer from the very beginning because think about it if, it. if you buy a home fitness program from the shelves at Walmart, you're never going to see the person who sold it to you ever again. There's going to be no accountability, no, no uh, check-ins or follow-ups or support, nothing. So it's probably just going to collect dust when you get it back home. You just wasted all that money, and in the end, you did not achieve your goals and live a happy, healthy, fulfilling life. And that's the mission here. So it was pretty obvious that was not the way to go. Not at all. So the, that gave birth to the, the network marketing division. What they decided to do is they decided to contact, um, I don't know how many people they contacted, but in, I think in the end it was like 42, it was 40 something, I'll just say 42 for now. 42 people came out and um, uh, I think it was Beverly Hills, California. Yes, it was Beverly Hills, California. The Beverly, Beverly Wilshire Hotel, which is where the movie Pretty Woman was, I don't know if it was shot there, but you know that, that was the hotel that it, that it was at. So anyway, they invited uh, 42 people out there. 42 people showed up, and these were um, customers of Beachbody that already had great results. And these customers that had these great results, these 42 people, they were already sharing this with people and helping people out on, say, the Beachbody message forums. And they were not getting paid for it. They just did it because it made them feel good because they wanted to. It was just the generosity and the kindness of their own hearts. And a lot of us do that. We discover something that you know greatly improves our lives. 
we want to tell other people about it, whether there's, there's a check involved or not. That's just a very human thing to do. And likewise, if we had a, a bad experience, we're going to tell people to stay away from that because it's not going to help. But uh, but that's what that's what Team Beachbody did to kick this thing off. They invited, and 42 people came out and uh, listened to Carl and, and John talk about it. They basically said, hey, guys, um, you've had this great success as our customers. You're already helping people achieve their goals. You're not even getting paid for it. Well, we've got this idea. We want to expand and help even more people. How would you feel about doing what you're already doing and adding a paycheck to it? And it was a, it sounded like a great idea. In fact, uh, there was two people. So I've heard this story before. I've heard Carl talk about it. But there were there were, uh, two people that said, ah, network marketing and this company that will never work. And it was the only two people in this group of people that um, that were already professional network marketers. And they said that this was not going to work. Everybody else in the room, they were not professional network marketers. They were just already sharing this as who they are as human beings because they just you know made them feel good and generosity of their heart and all that stuff. But they all decided, yeah, this this sounds like a great thing. This this could be really cool. And the other two professionals said, eh, not going to do it. So they didn't. I think probably by now they're kicking themselves in the behinds because obviously this turned into a really great thing. And, um, you know, I'm not knocking those two guys that didn't do it. We all make mistakes. And uh, I, I just hope they learned from them. And that's the real lesson there, the real value in learning from the negative feedback that you get from life. So that started in December of 2006, the network marketing division, and it started with people that were already customers, already had great results, and were already helping people without getting paid. So now they're just getting paid for it, and um, and that that's a really cool deal. And everybody's income in this company is in direct proportion to the significance that they have in other people's lives. So it's like if you want to solve that income problem and you want more money for whatever then you just become more significant. And I just, I'm totally in love with that concept. Also, keep in mind that this is a company that isn't just, you know, it's not exchanging money between hands and that's all that we're doing. There is actually a product that has an end result. It changes people's lives. A lot of people, it saves their lives. We're dealing with health and fitness in a nation where about 8 out of 10 people will die as a result of chronic disease brought on by lifestyle choice. 8 out of 10 people. And this is a company that's solving that problem. So, obviously, the bigger this company grows, the bigger my business grows, the bigger, if you're already a Beachbody coach, the bigger your business grows, the bigger Beachbody, Team Beachbody as a whole grows, the closer we move toward ending the trend of obesity and the trend of chronic disease that's killing 8 out of 10 people. I mean... Even our kids are now being lumped into that number, and we've never done that before. Our kids, for the first time in history, have type 2 diabetes. Our kids, for the first time in history, are getting chronic diseases that people didn't get until they were in their 30s or 40s. And now a lot of those diseases that people didn't get until they were in their 40s are more commonly gotten in their 20s now. Whew, not good. <laughs> so obviously we have a big, big, big crisis in this country. I think everybody knows that. And uh, a solution is desperately needed. And I believe the Beachbody is it. There is no other company doing what, what Beachbody is doing. There's, you know, there's a lot of, of um, opportunities out there. Some of them are even good opportunities. Beachbody is not the only opportunity, but I believe it's the best one. And I don't think there's anybody else doing what we're doing. And I don't think anybody else has the potential to solve this problem. So that's why. I love telling the story of Beachbody, the mission statement, and how it it correlates with um, a, a solution that we need in this country to address a, a need to solve a problem that we have that's literally wiping us out. So the bigger this thing grows, the closer we come to ending the trends of obesity, chronic disease, depression, um, just e emotional messes in people and feelings of self-worthlessness. All of those things, it's a good thing, and I'm just in love with this company and what we're doing. I hope that, I hope that somehow I've in, inspired you to do what inspires you. And if you've connected with this story that I've just shared with you about Beachbody and about what I believe, if you believe what I believe and what Beachbody believes, then join our mission, our cause, 
get paid for it. If you don't want to get paid for it, just refer all your friends to me so I can help them out. I'm sure you know people who've got diabetes, people who cancer runs in the family, people who are overweight, people that are looking for a better way to get in shape, and all of those sorts of things. So either refer them to me or you get involved in this business and make fitness your business and helping people your business. Either way, it doesn't matter to me, but I hope that you do. It inspires you. And if I've said nothing that's of any value to you whatsoever, then just chuck it all in the trash and just promise yourself that you're going to keep relentlessly searching until you make those key discoveries that you make, that you need to make, to be able to get the things that you want so that you can do what inspires you and live an inspired life. That's important. That's how we all live better right there, man. Adios. That's the end of my video. I'm not really sure how to close it out, so I'll just be whatever. <laughs> Take care, guys. Enjoy the day. It's beautiful outside.